So good morning. On behalf of State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, welcome to the commencement exercises for graduating class 292 of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy's Career Recruit Training Program. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you class 292 for the posting of the national and state colors. <laughs> Anthem. Please, re please remain standing for our invocation delivered by a chaplain of the Westboro Fire Department and a member of the Massachusetts Corps of Fire Chaplains, Chaplain Joseph Isaacson. Let us pray together. Our eternal God, as we assemble today to celebrate the efforts and achievements of these fine individuals, we offer our thanks and praise for all who have gone before us in the fire service, who have shared important lessons and wisdom, and who have molded us into who we are today. Thank you for the commitment of these skilled instructors who make our graduates capable and honorable firefighters. We thank you for these graduates, for their energy, enthusiasm, and the hard work they have put into the program of training. May you continue to bless them as they go on from here to work and to serve. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Be seated. Thank you, Rabbi. Welcome. My name is Dennis Ball. 
and I have the distinct privilege and honor to serve as the Recruit Programs Coordinator for the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. We would like to welcome all our audience, uh, family, and friends that could not join us here today. Although we would much rather have you here in person, we would, we're cer certainly happy to see you and have expressed, uh, have the opportunity to see you folks on, uh, on Facebook. Um, I'd like to thank our producer and director, uh, Christina Dantrell, for, not, not Christina Dantrell, oh my God, Mitchell. Christina Dantrell is one of my uh, program, program assistants. She said, don't break over the mic here, right? So here we go. I'm sorry. Can I have it? How's it? Am I good? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'd just like to take a real quick uh, moment, guys, um, to introduce some me uh, members of the official party. So the Department of Fire Services is a vital public safety agency that works to keep the community safe. We provide, obviously, firefighter training, yes, uh, public education services, fire prevention, code enforcement, licensing, fire investigation, hazardous material response, and incident support throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. One of the key people entrusted to lead this agency is Deputy State Fire Marshal Maribel Forney, who happens to be wearing two hats today. The other hat is my, my boss, and she's <clears throat> playing the role of interim director of the Massachusetts Fire Department. That would, that would be, that would be a towel, like, you good? All right, so we're going to pay attention now, right? Okay, great. Uh, representing the Massachusetts Corps of Fire Chaplains is Chaplain Joseph Ideson. He's also a chaplain in the Westboro uh, Fire Department. Just thank you, Chaplain, all right, for your presence here on campus, um, for being a vital part that you play in the, in the, in the uh, fire service in your organization as well. So thank you, Joe. Next one down the line is retired Chief of Fire Operations, the Cambridge Fire Department, in a long-standing long recruit uh, assistant co program coordinator, Mr. Jack Delinas. <laughs> and Mr. Delinas is another Mr. Delinas. He's one of our senior instructors, a most valuable, valuable a member of, of the training staff here. So, uh, Mr. Delinas. Just a very, very couple, uh, a couple small words here. I'd like to acknowledge the staff, uh, the instructor staff, the support staff. They are fire service professionals sharing their passion with the fire service. Emergency events occur throughout the Commonwealth every day. Each morning, it is almost assured that either an instructor or a staff or, or a support staff member on each of our three campuses was a participant in that event. That's a good thing. They share their experiences. They're, they're, it's, it's timely lessons learned, which then pursues into a lively discussion in, in our ready rooms. But ultimately, it, it adds to our academic, our academic growth, which ultimately benefits the citizens of, of the Commonwealth as well as the recruits. I'd also like to uh, thank you. Thank uh, every, every organization has a member that works behind the scenes. Uh, without their dedication and organization, um, the, mission be, would be, my, the mission would be very, very difficult to uh, attain. I just want to real quick thanks to my rec career recruit administrative assistant, Kyla McKenzie. Uh, she makes your life and my experience here um, and my job very, very seamless. So thank you, Kyla. The reason I mentioned Kyla um, is class 292 is, is Kyla's last uh, career recruit class. Uh, she's moving away from the uh, Mass Fire Academy to continue her journey. Um, so I offer her our best wishes, our heartfelt wishes, um, on her future endeavors. So thank you very much for, for, for your efforts. So thank you. So I'm done. Um, I'd just like to make a quick introduction at like this time for MFA Interim Director uh, in Deputy Fire State Fire Marshal. Uh, Mary, Maribel Fonia, uh, to make a few words. Thank you. Okay. 
Thanks, Dennis. Um, good morning, recruits, and congratulations to Class 292. I want to start off by thanking all the communities and the fire chief for continuing to support the fire academy and sending you here for this 10-week program and continue to support the Mass Fire Academy in general. Without them and their support, we wouldn't be here today as well. So you need to thank your chiefs for believing in training and for bring, sending you here to receive this training, this 10-week training. As Dennis mentioned, the hardworking staff behind the scenes, the administrative staff, to make sure that this program runs seamless. Thanks to everybody at the academy staff. Although you don't see them, they make sure you have the water bottles you need, the gear you need, and everything that we need to make sure that this program runs seamlessly. And without say, the instructor staff. So many of them here make a commitment. Some of them are retired, some of them are still in the fire service, and still continue to come here because they're dedicated to training and know the importance of it. Some of them have been here decades, longer than some of you have even been born. And that's not a dig at them, that shows you their commitment here. And I want you to remember, you know, some of these instructors, some of our senior instructors, which, hey, they're, they're great guys, but think about what you've learned from them. And when you leave here, find some of those senior instructors, even within your own department, ask them questions. Learning is a lifelong process. Don't ever forget that. In addition to that, I want you to remember your family. They were key to your success here, right? They've supported you for the past 10 weeks, and they're going to support you as your career as a firefighter. So remember them along the way. You're going to miss many birthdays, many anniversaries, Father's Days, Mother's Days, weddings, all kinds of very special events because you've made, the, you've chosen the career in public safety, and public safety is a 24-7 job. It's a commitment, and you should be proud of it. Although today is a day of celebration for you today, I do want you to keep one family in mind and one person. Officer Familia, who was laid to rest yesterday, the Worcester Police, uh, Fire Department, um, Police Department, excuse me. His fam he was laid to rest yesterday. His family and the police officers of Worcester grieve for him and will continue to grieve that. Unfortunately, he made the ultimate sacrifice for public safety. Choosing a career in public safety specifically, especially firefighters and police officers, although it's a rewarding career and you will help people when they're at their most vulnerable states, unfortunately you will face and see tragic throughout your career. At each graduation I try to, uh, you know, I can't get away from this. There's always three things that stick with me as someone who's been in public safety for a long time as well. You have to make sure you continue your training so that the, you guys have just learned the basics today. There's so much more to learn here at the Academy. We encourage you to come back. We encourage you to become instructors in the field. We encourage you to learn about hazmat. We encourage you to learn about tech rescue. There's so many other skills that you can improve on. This is just the base of your learning. In addition to that, I preach it over and over again, mental and physical health. It's not just about you. It's about your coworker. It's about that fellow firefighter who you're helping assist, drag somebody out of a burning home. It's about making it back each and every day to your family. You have to make sure you maintain that. And if you see signs of your coworker who needs help, reach out and offer help. Your mental and physical health are key. I'll say it again. I see you guys out in the gym. I see you out in the drill yard. There are instructors here who are 20, 30, maybe even 40 years older than you and they're running circles around some of you guys. I'd be embarrassed. Keep up your mental and physical health. It's key. I'm not gonna be long-winded. Enjoy the day. And again, today you leave here firefighters. Congratulations, class 292. Only the deputy marshal could get away with calling me by my first name. Yeah, that would be Mr. Ball. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, now I'd like to, uh, we'd like to present the Richard M. Bangs Award to the Outstanding Student of 292. I'd like to ask uh, instructors Cordio and Quinn to come up and uh, make that presentation.
Richard N. Bangs was the chairman of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council for many years. Upon his retirement, the Training Council voted to name the Outstanding Student Award in his honor. The Recruit Training Curriculum is designed to prepare, train, and evaluate students in the basic skills of firefighting. This course is demanding both academically and physically, and completing it is an accomplishment worthy of recognition. In each class, there is one student who is selected who has excelled in the training program. And this student is named the outstanding student of the class. This award is based upon the student's total academic score, successful achievement both in the academic, practical skills, testing, and evaluations. We are pleased to present the Richard N. Bangs Award to the outstanding recruit from class 292, firefighter Daniel Gould of the Natick Fire Department. So recruit cool gold is a class smarty pants, huh? Huh? How much do you know? So I'm, so I'm, so I'm going to give you an option. I'm either going to ask you a wicked hard question, all right, or you have an opportunity to come up here and address your, your uh, wicked hard. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, Mr. Ball and Mass Fire Academy, um, for presenting me with that award. Uh, it means a lot. Um, but seriously, anyone from 292 could have been up here, so um, you know, I was just lucky enough, I guess. Um, but thank you to the Native Fire Department um, and Chief Lentini for um, you know supporting me and, and uh, letting me go through this academy. Uh, there's a lot of great instructors, and uh, just appreciate everything that we've learned here. And uh, I guess we'll just keep up the training. So. Uh, thanks to my family. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you guys, in all, in all seriousness, um, as I had, I, I had alluded to uh, before you came in, in, it was a great class academically. All right. So this, this selection uh, was well earned. There, it was literally this much, whatever that is, in, in decimal points, all right, uh, between, between the top three guys, okay? What really, really, and I shouldn't tell you what the secret is, all right, but it was, um, it came down to two deficiency points, okay? Okay, so, so again, well, 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 well deserved. I, I, I haven't seen... Again, I, I can't stress this enough. I haven't um, seen an academic effort um, as, as well as yours in a while. So, so congratulations. Congratulations to you as well. Okay? And again, that, is, that doesn't mean the rest of you guys are, are you know, second loser. Okay? It doesn't work that way. All right? You guys all stood up. So I'm proud of you. Thank you. All right. So at this time, I'd like to, uh, what would I like to do? Hmm. Oh, would you like the, your diplomas? Yes? Okay. So at this time, I'd like to uh, call up uh, Assistant uh, Program Coordinator uh, Jack Gelinas with um, uh, my senior instructor, uh, Mike Gelinas, uh, to uh, present the diplomas. From the Beverly Fire Department, graduating recruit firefighter Patrick R. Cronin.
from Beverly, graduating recruit firefighter Derek Marshall. From Beverly, graduating recruit firefighter Michael P. Reynolds. From Beverly, graduating recruit firefighter Ronald A. Williams, Jr. From Burlington, graduating recruit firefighter Evan Austin. From Danvers, graduating recruit firefighter Joseph P. DeFranco III. From Danvers, graduating recruit firefighter Adam J. Pierce. From Haverhill, graduating recruit firefighter James A. Beezer, Jr. From Haverhill, graduating recruit firefighter Matthew G. Monagle. From Linfield, graduating recruit firefighter Paul Hartz III. From Manchester, graduating recruit firefighter Brian Jenks. From Natick, graduating recruit firefighter Daniel R. Gould. From Northboro, graduating recruit firefighter Anthony G. Ricardo III.
from Northboro, graduating recruit firefighter Cameron L. Tracia. From Orleans, graduating recruit firefighter Benjamin A. Nickerson. From Saugus, graduating recruit firefighter Jonathan Crombie. From Saugus, graduating recruit firefighter Nicholas Landry. From Upton, graduating recruit firefighter Thomas Norton. Last but not least, from Winchester, graduating recruit firefighter Nicholas Bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, class 292. Can we have a, a plaque today, guys? No, sir. Do we have a plaque? Okay. So uh, if you could just remain standing for a moment. And I'd like to ask uh, Chaplain Joe Iderson, Joseph Iderson, back to, the, to uh, deliver the uh, benediction. Our eternal God, we conclude today's ceremony. We humbly ask you to protect those you have called into the fire service. In their new assignment, let them each become a great neighbor who serves the community with intelligence and imagination. Surround them with supportive loved ones, capable leaders, dependable and good-natured colleagues. Help their loved ones to embrace the firefighter's schedule and acknowledge their passion and fascination for life at the station. Thank you, God, for hearing us, and we pray with confidence, knowing that you have a plan for our lives marked by this signature day. We pray all of this in your strong and ever-present name. And we say, Amen. To the members of two class, yeah. Stop, rewind, right? To the members of class 292, we all we wish you all a long and healthy and safe careers. We'd also uh, we also thank you for your commitment to your communities and to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This ceremony is now concluded. Class 292, come to attention. Dismissed for your duties. Thank you. <laughs>